Under the umbrella of the Luzon Motorcycle Federation Incorporated, member organizations like the AMDG of the Ateneo Riders and the Executive Riders Club, composed of executives, retired generals and businessmen, and the BOSS, BMW Owner Safety Society, Mad Dog, the Philippine version of Hell's Angels, and other affiliate groups. There is a formidable group of riders of 10,000 in Luzon, literally a veritable army. Now meet a rider who is a biker and who is totally passionate about his new, what would you call this? It's not a hobby. It's a passion. It's a passion. If anyone wants to join your group, okay. is it open? It's open. All they have to do is hook up with us and say, hey, can I ride with you? We say yes, and suddenly they're part of our riding group. Uh, we've all met just like that. Well, how do they reach you? Any website? We have or? a website. Uh, most of the groups have different websites. We have our own little website of about 20 people. So we announce the ride. Usually there's a ride every Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, once in a while we have a big ride. Uh, if I can plug a little bit, we've got a big ride on December 3. It'll be a charity ride up to Tagaytay. We have, we're expecting about 60 bikers. And it's quite a sight when you see 60 bikers going up to Tagaytay all together. All they need to do if they want to join our ride is to be at the Petron station mm -hmm. at the South Luzon Expressway on December 3 at 6.30. Sharp. Sharp. Okay. 6.30 sharp. Or thereabouts will be a long train of riders so they can't, they can't help but see us and they can just tag along. And everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome. Would you consider a rider or a biker to be the ultimate tourist? That you discover things that regular tourists do not? Well, I think you just hit it in. I have become the ultimate tourist. Um, I have never seen as much of the Philippines in the last six months you know, as I have in the last six months because I've been on a bike, uh, like Camarines Norte. What were the things you discovered about Camarines Norte that you didn't know about? Well, I didn't know they have this wonderful national park, mm -hmm. and we rode through forests, with tall trees, shady lanes. We passed by, I think it was a pineapple plantation, yes. um, near Quirino Highway, I think it was. And again, plus the people are nice. Today I'm officially one of the boys. So meet one of the bigger boys, General Boy Reodica. Thank you. Thank Hi you, General. Uh, you're a member of this distinguished uh, and distinctive group of riders. riders. Thank you very much. Yes. Most of us ride for leisure, uh -huh. for uh, the love of riding, uh -huh. for so. being in contact with nature and uh, looking at the environment in another way. We see some kind of personal uh, communication and connection. and connection. Fantastic. Thank you so Thank much, you. General, for the inspiration. Thank you, Therefore, if you'd like to ride the roads of life, be a rider. More importantly, be a biker. Combined with a very private group of CEOs from top corporations, riders have proven that they work hard but they also play hard. Riding in style from Cagayan Valley to Cagayan de Oro, Baguio to Daet, Ilocosur to Cebu. Try being a rider and discover the Philippines while you're at it. So don't just be a tourist in your own country, be a rider.